lovely ladies. <laughs> Please, I'm live. Hi. <laughs> Hello. All right. <laughs> Let me get it up on the tablet. Here we go. <laughs> Come on. All right, you guys. I'm just getting set up quickly. Nat will be in in a second not getting up how are oh hello Lynn Jackie Jean ah. she's here I'm back Isn't working. Oh, is there anything worse than hand sanitizer when you've got a cut on your hand oh have you got the magic, Jess? Have you made the magic happen there? Magic's not happening. Thanks for your patience, everyone. How are we all? Sorry. <laughs> yep, it's all happening here today in the super studio. We have got Jessica here helping out this afternoon. Um, we have got Louise is madly packing your orders, which is fantastic. Um, and I thought that. I'm just reading your comments. I'm just playing a little catch up. Um, and I thought that, oh gosh, that I would pop in and, and make something this afternoon, maybe. Just give you all a little treat for a Thursday. Um, is it Thursday? It's Thursday. <laughs> yeah, it's a little bit cold here as well today, Kerry Ann. Um, I did see that the forecast in Canberra was. Um, commonly known as very freaking cold but um we hit a sunny 14 here today oh and you've just got your order that's fantastic good to hear hello from budapest well i think that might be a first i hope my australian accent um you can understand it so all right so what i thought i might do today is have a little bit of a play with in my art journal with some Distress Oxides and some stencils, um, no real plan, but I was having a, I was trying to work out whether I do it on black or craft or on white. Uh, so let's have a little bit of a play here and just have a bit of a test and see how the stenciling looks on craft in uh with distress oxides and then we'll do some in black and see what i like more i've just got the uh, paper rose pinwheel stencil here uh and i've just pulled out a few different distress oxides oops and i've got some blending brushes so i'm going to keep it super simple but i do love Distress Oxides on Craft. They do come up looking pretty great. That's not bad. Can you see that? Not bad at all. All right, so let's try it in a darker colour. And hello, Cherie. Oh. And I've got a cut on the side of my thumb in the worst possible place. Um... So how's everybody travelling around the world at the moment? Well, well, Australia at least. Um, I hope you are all occupying yourself, keeping yourself busy. So I'm just, no. do I do? Actually, I quite, I quite like it on craft. Craft does look pretty good. Okay. Shall we try it on black? Shall we start, try some Distress Oxides on black as well? Just for a little comparison. I've got, I, I did a little swipey earlier. So this is just plain black cardstock with Distress Oxides. And I'll give that another juicy application. Okay, and that's not too shabby. So let's do a black art journal page. Why not? It's been a while since I've done one of those. In fact, I don't think I've ever done one live on Facebook. So 
All right, so I'm using the, this is the, the Large Dilutions Journal. Um, I really like this journal. I like the, the fact that I have got pages that I can do in black. Um, there's pages that I can do in craft and then there's the standard art journal pages as well. Um, I've done a couple of little bits and pieces in here already. Um, cleaning off my gel plate being one of them. Um, a little sneak of the class prep for this week. Uh, next week, actually. But okay, so I think what I might do is I might continue on using this stencil since I've got it out and start playing, getting some colour across my background. This is going to be about the only opportunity I get today for a cup of tea, so we're going to make the most of it. Um, I'm going to start with, I might do a bit of a, a rainbow sort of situation going on. Um, I'm going to put the paper towel here so that I can continue to wipe off my stencil as I'm done. And I'm just going to use a baby wipe. And I'm going to do another really, really simple art journal page. It's not always about complicated designs. Um, it's going to be about making something that just looks really comfortable for me, but looks visually pleasing, of course, and something that makes me happy because that's what my art journaling is all about. So I'm going to use my pinwheel stencil and start with the squeeze lemonade at the top. And I'm going to work around just applying in a round circular motion my colour. Like that. And I'm going to mix it up a bit. I'm going to overlap colours. Oh, now the birds are having a little chirp. That's nice. Hey, that looks pretty good. They're, yeah, they're probably just happily pooing on Louise's car because, you know, that's a thing. <laughs> and when, when Louise covers up the bonnet of her car, they then move to sitting on the side mirrors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a shop with a with a comfortable story here that we all know about. There we go. Okay, so squeeze lemonade to start with. Now I'm, I'm actually going to use the same blending brush, but just going to wipe it off on here. And I'm going to use Abandoned Coral next. So I'm making it nice and juicy on there. And I'm going to overlap. So I'm going to try and line up my stenciling a little and move down and around my page next. So keeping it nice and easy. So what's going on in your world? Hello from Victoria. Oh, Jessica, our front doorbell's ringing. That's, ri oh, that's terrible. Uh... No, you can't answer it. Because I'm on the tablet and the, oh, you could probably use the tablet quickly. The tablet yep. real quickly. Sorry, we've got one of those video doorbells. Can you not do it here in front of me? Perhaps go into my office. Thank you, darling just in case it's somebody abusing me. Um, so yes, we have one of those ring like security systems so that we can see what's happening in the world. Oh, that looks pretty good, but I need to do a little bit more over that section. So I'm just going to try and line up just a little, just so that I can get a little bit of an overlap. That's better. So that is Abandoned Coral next. So the next colour that I'm going to use is Picked Raspberry. Uh, and who was it, Jess? Delivery man. And right as I worked out who it was, he was pulling out the drive. Did he leave it? He left something. Oh, good. And he also, I think he wrote note me. Oh, great. All right. So because of the distress oxides, I've lost the comments. Hang on. Oh, no. Here we go, back again. Um, because we've, we're using the Distress Oxides, the, the pigment ink shows up really, really nicely on black. And that's what's making this stand out. They've got that really lovely opaque finish. 
and this pinwheel flower stencil from Paper Rose will enable me to line up colors, uh, line up the pattern as well. So it's got that really great repeating pattern and they are back in stock. You will find them under stencils and under the category of Paper Rose, okay? On nataliemay.com.au. All right, and the blending brushes are super easy to use. Like you said, like, like you can see, I'm just wiping the color off of here and doing that. All right, so there we go. So one, two, three colors. So I'm gonna move down to, I'm gonna move down into the blues and then I'll do purple last. And I'm actually just gonna wipe a little bit of excess off my stencil before I do the next bit. And make sure that's totally dry. Okay. A little bit of overlap. So we've had lots and lots of new goodies in this week. I hope uh, you've all jumped on and had a bit of a browse around to check out some of the new things. Um, for those of you who haven't, jump into the uh, new for August and the back in stock. We've got some of the favourites back in stock again that people love. And uh, we had a big top up of Stencil Girl. We had a massive, massive delivery of Scrap Effects. And that uh, lots of new products from Scrap Effects, as well as a top up of some paints some gloss sprays from Dina Wakeley. Um, what else was new? Gemini plate. Yeah, Jessica's just put a top up of the Gemini cutting plates uh, online as well, including, including the one that Jennifer Maguire demonstrated yesterday morning on YouTube. So uh, highly sought after. And I do believe, I haven't watched it myself, but it's a bit of a game changer for those of you who don't like buckled plates on your Gemini machine. All right, so um, I have limited stocks of them and I will not be getting them back in again. This will be the only opportunity for you to grab one of these highly sought after cutting plates that Jennifer Maguire uses. And we all know how awesome Jennifer Maguire is. Everything she touches turns to gold. Um, but yes, you will be able to jump on and um, check that out. And then the plates you will find on new for August and under the tools section as well. So the next color I'm putting down is Wilted Violet. And I'm going to put that across the bottom of my page whoops like so so for those of you just tuning in welcome to my little impromptu unplanned live facebook not really too much of a plan here but i just thought it was about time to pop some color down onto a page create something in my Dilusions Classic Art Journal, and I'm using Distress Oxides on one of the black pages today. And there we go. And I'm gonna bring it up to camera in a moment so you can see what I'm doing. No, um, Cheryl, the, Cheryl's just asking the question, did I paint the page in black gesso first? No, this is actually a black page out of the out of the classics art journal. So this particular art journal has plain black pages, craft pages and plain pages, uh, just plain white pages as well. Um, so that you've got a bit of a, you have a, okay. So everyone's saying it keeps freezing. Sorry guys, let me just turn off the Wi-Fi. I don't know if it's my end or your end. I do know that because of, uh, because of the great demand across Australia at the moment for internet, I know when Adelaide had a lockdown, we had incredible delays 
with internet because everybody had nothing else to do except for be on the internet. So I do apologize, um, but I've turned it now onto my Wi-Fi instead of the wireless internet. So hopefully it'll be okay. All right, so I thought I would use my Big Squabbles next. So Big Squabbles is a Dina Waitley stencil. Um, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Let's have a bit of a play. I could use a baby wipe. Let's start with that. And I don't know if this is going to work or not, but, you know, let's give it a whirl. Hey there, Kayleen. Welcome, lovely, and happy birthday for yesterday. Now, I'm going to wipe some of this off with a baby wipe now and see if it's made a bit of a, gives a bit of a difference. Oh, look, it does work. It does get in. Oh, does anybody else remember that advert? What's that advert? It does get in. No. Colgate? No, Jessica, you're not old enough to know what that advert Palm was Olive? about. Pa Palmolive or Colgate? Was it the uh, guy from the... I reckon it's Palmolive, but it got the oil off the plate. Yeah. Oh, anybody? So what's happening is the, the damp baby wipe is pulling the colour and creating something really, really cool. Toothpaste, Colgate. Colgate, Colgate, everybody's saying Colgate. Good to know. Radio. So a wet baby wipe is pulling this colour off of here. Hey, I like it. And what I'm going to do in a moment is I'm going to heat set this because I have added moisture to it. <laughs> yes, chalk in a glass. Exactly, Linda. Um, I'm going to do that one. I'll add some, because I've added moisture to the page and I've pulled the colour off, I need to dry it. Yeah, I quite like that. With my heat gun with my heat gun that I can't reach. Oh, goodness. Where is it? Hang on, I got it, I got it, I got it. Um, alrighty. So I want to do a little bit of stamping next and I'm going to use a, I've got a, a bit of an idea. Oh gosh, now that won't turn off. I want to use some stamping. Um, Jessica, could you please go and grab in that cupboard where my stamps are? There's a wooden stamp, which is a French script stamp. My good old faithful French script stamp that I have had for ever and ever and ever, ever. Tough teeth. Yeah. <laughs> Hey there, Karen. Yeah, welcome, darling. I know I did a little sneaky. I, I didn't have a live Facebook planned. I just figured if I do this, then I'm avoiding doing other things, you see. Oh, Mrs. Marsh. Leslie, you need to get creating again, darling. Did you find it, Jess? No, all right. Well, come and talk. Oh, no, you just bring me the whole stash. Um, oh, the, uh, the other one that's in there. Here it is here. Oh, which one? French script stamp. I it's a it hero was. art stamp, and I do have some more of these coming in very, very soon. I've just done a big order of uh, hero arts products, so they will be in soon. But I do love me a, a script stamp. All right, so before I do this, I'm just going to pull this up to the camera so that you can see a bit more detail on what we have got here. So I've got a black art journal page and I used a range of colours in the background. And of course, because they are distress oxides, they are, they're a little bit lighter. I then used my big squabble stencil from Dina Wakeley and used a baby wipe to wipe some off. 
Right, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp through here. Um, I don't, after all that, I'm not going to use that. <laughs> Sorry, Jess. Thanks. Um, I know. You went to all of that trouble to get off your bottom. All right. So <laughs> now I'm going to use, I might use a, a mixture of both. So I'm stamping now in Twisted Citron as well. And I'm stamping over the stencil so that my words are only going to go in that circle. And I'm not going to do the whole area. I'm going to mix it up. I'm going to pull out some baby white. My baby white paper towel. Just so that I don't get any where I don't want it to go. And I'll pop some down here. Like that. Bit up the top there. What's stressing me out? Nothing. Don't worry about I can hear you two. You know that, right? Okay, so just a few little bits around the page. And it's great when you've got a big stencil like this, it works really quite well. And that is drying up a little bit lighter too, which is making it fit in quite nicely. Right, clean off my stencil. So I'm building my background um, and the next thing I'm going to be doing in a moment is going to be adding my focal point. Um, so that's one of the little paper artsy stamps. I also am going to use this one as well, which is a paper artsy stamp. Um, this one would certainly work, but I'm preferring something a little bit more flexible today. Uh, I think will work much better for, for the process that I need it for. And I'm going to do this one in pink. Now, it won't show up very pink. It'll show up quite light. But it'll go, it'll be... Thank you, Siri, for your input. She didn't tell you to check it out. Oh, no. Siri can be a bit of a know-it-all, can't she? Stamping over there little spots and these will lighten up quite well yeah there, um, there's been lots and lots going on hasn't there guys um, yeah the lockdown sucks I don't want to talk about it too much because um, I because it's yep we're here in Adelaide and and um, yeah it is what it is so, um, but you know what? Get vaccinated. Do your thing. There's my, my opinion on something that I probably shouldn't have an opinion about. All right. Background. So I've got these, t these little marks in here that are going to come up looking quite cool. I'll bring it up to the camera so you can see what's going on. And you can see those little light marks over my stamped image. Uh, focal point. Okay, I need to create a focal point now. I need something on here to help lift my, my page. Something for my eye to go to. So, the only thing I have is a packet of baby wipes and this little pile. And this little pile contains small talk from Tim Holtz and the collaged people that I used the other day. So, I'm going to use these guys. And these are from Scrap Effects and fantastic. That's the one that I used in the live Facebook the other day. I could use him or I could use him. But I, well, I think I like the book paper one. Let's have a look at the book paper. So you can see that I'm turning it. Um, body language is really important when it comes to doing something like this because... 
it's positive body language to look into the page. Uh, I would much prefer a, a positive than a, a negative. So a negative would be something like this where he's facing out of the page. Um, again, that's just one of those things that I like that it's a visually pleasing sort of um, finish. Jessica, could you get, grab me a thin black pen, please? There's one next to where I was working um, at my desk. Thank you. That one? No. No, that's not black, darling. No. Blue. Do you want your, maybe a pintle one? It'll do. It's not ideal. So what I want to do before I put my focal point is I want to put a little bit of doodling on. So I'm just going to outline my circles. And I'm holding my pen quite high so that I get more of a, of a loose mark. Okay? Like that. And I'm going to come back up here. And I'll show you up on camera um, a little bit closer in a minute. But it's just putting a little bit of a mark around those, those squabbles that we baby wiped off. Hello, Susan. Hello, Karen. Um, yes, I am a bit of a surprise on your Thursday afternoon. I just thought I would pop in and make everybody smile and just make something pretty just for the heck of it. So all of my live Facebook stay on Facebook and they will eventually be added to YouTube. Um, what I tend to do is just pop on every now and again, share the love around. Um, I know that everybody's doing things a little bit differently at the moment, doing things a little tougher. I'm going to add this guy. Just stop fluffing around and make a decision. There we go. So this is an excellent little set. You get corrugated men, you've got, you've got chipboard, and you've got the paper die-cut men as well. There's also some ladies available that you can get. Um, so I want to colour this. So how do I colour this? I might pop some white on first. I'm going to give it a little bit of whoops, or a lot, as the case may be, um, a lot of white, can't find a paintbrush, so we're just going to use my fingers, so I want to give it a gesso coat, so that my colours are a little bit brighter, okay, just like that, then I'm going to heat set that, and then I'm going to add some distress inks, distress oxide straight over the top, What are we up? 20 minutes. Okay. Look, I'm nailing this in 20 minutes. Theoretically. Oh, mind you, there's stuff everywhere on the floor. I haven't finished my cup of tea. And today's postage day. So being Thursday, Thursday's the day that we post everybody's orders from the week um, unless you've requested otherwise so we have got parcels here uh, posty man's already done one one trip and uh, we've got another trip to do to the post office oh Jessica's dropping <laughs> so hold that under the camera Jess my hands are full we got these guys in this is a is it in the shot darling yeah it okay is. so this is one of the new little coffee cups that we got in I know, everybody needs another coffee cup like a hole in the head. But, but they're scissors. But they're so cute. Open it up, have a look. Oh, you can see if I turn it on the side there. Oh, just take it out of the box, oh, you but... pussy. <laughs> Go. I got it. I just love a coffee cup. And I know there's a couple of people that are a bit of a sucker for a coffee cup as well. Look at this guy. It's adorable. So there's um, a... Ones with purple handles, ones with blue handles. Um, online, you only order the blue, but um, just put in the comments if you would like a blue or a red um, because, yeah, we, we made a little error. But, but that's so super cute. All right, so I have coloured him in white to lay down of a, bit of a bit of a foundation for um, 
for my colour. So what I want to do next is I want to add some Distress Oxide. So I'm just going to be super cheeky and add that on straight from the ink pad. Okay. Then what's happening here is I'm getting a really nice solid colour. And it's nice and bright. Can you... Sorry, guys, and that was my phone ringing. So, Jessica, can you take that phone outside and call the person who just rang me, please? Um, okay, so I'll do pink next. You know, everything happens at once in here. Um, I think the number's already saved in the phone, Jess. Oh, yeah, it should be. Right, so I'm just going to push the colour up to there. What's the matter? Is that the posty man? All right. That there. That there. Okay, so I'm just going to lightly blend that because I'm just smudging that on. Rubbing it through with my fingers, blending it nicely with my finger. I'm getting a little bit of a gradient going on here, okay? Um, Carrie ann I'm using the Classics Journal from Dina Wakeley. Uh, sorry, from Dilutions. This is the one that is, uh, it's got craft pages. It has... It has craft pages, it has um, black pages, and it has normal cream pages as well. All right, babe, so it's something just to, a um, bit of variety. And this color at the bottom here is the wilted violet. All right, so I'm just going to blend that nicely with my finger. So I have gone a little risky here and put blue next to orange. Um, possibly something I shouldn't have done. So, but that's okay. Note yourself, and I should know better. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag... A, that's the colour that I did use. I need like candied apple or something like that. Oh, Kerry Ann. Uh, look, if your bestie wants to buy one of those classics journals, I think that I think that she will absolutely love it. And it's good because you've got a real challenge. Well, not a real challenge. You've got a, a bit of variety with the different pages as well. So, all right. So just adding that colour, candied apple. Need a plain finger. <laughs> use another one. I did use a different finger. Um, I'm going to now just lightly blend those colours there. So I've got my rainbow man. So that needs to be totally dried before before we stick him to the page. So distress oxides are something that we probably don't use enough in our journals. Um, and I think that by using, <laughs> um, by using, by using them in your journals, plus, you know, using them on cards and using them on other projects like your scrapbook pages, uh, you, you can also use them on distress oxides. You can use on gel plates as well. You can get some really, really fantastic effects, but you have to try these things to, to, you know, to try and work out if they are going to work. Um, and to be perfectly honest, I had no idea how that was going to look. I haven't done that technique in a really, really long time. So, hey, I'm winging it. Just making it happen. So now that I've dried that off, um, he's, he's nice, but he's a little on the bland side. I think he needs a bit of stamping. I need to get some of this ink off my fingers before I touch anything. Um, okay, do I have any stamps handy? 
No. No, not really. Oh, you know what I do want? <laughs> Nothing, I found it. Okay. Um, I'm just going to use my, I've just got a word stamp. This is my stamp that I designed that is currently out of stock, but in production again shortly. The won't let you down stamp. I think everybody already, already has it because we sold out of the first batch in no time, but it's just typewriter words. But I will be redoing these soon. It's not just. It's not just. No, that's right. Sorry, Louise. You are you are correct as, as normal, as usual. All right. It's awesome. It is awesome. It is my awesome. <laughs> Won't let you down stamp. So by putting the stamping over the top, has taken the focus away from the not so fantastic blending of that. Okay, so that is where that can look fabulous. All right, he's gonna go there, but he needs to be he needs to be sitting on something, he needs to be grounded, he needs to be I don't know, he needs something. What does he need, Louise? <laughs> no, I'm not asking the right person, am I? The black's nice, I know. Mm. The black is nice. I feel like it needs a bit of white on yeah, behind, him, behind, him, behind him. Bit of white him. behind him? White doodle. Sure. Ooh, some white, a little go? white doodle. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's just walk away from that. Um, Jess, can you... Oh, no, I've got one pen Just here. Just grab a doodle. <laughs> grab a doodle. Don't grab a doodle. Medium. Grab me a medium pencil. Oh, thank you. And I might just do a little dry brushing. So I'm just going to do it again, a rather large job of gesso on here. And do some... So I've got a, a brush, not wet, not wet, hopefully clean. And so I know that he's going to go... In here so what I want to what I want to do is I want to give him something to stand on so I'm just giving him a little bit of a white grounded area he needs to be grounded he can't be floating it doesn't make sense he doesn't have wings he could have wings but he doesn't have wings and I'm just going to lightly dry brush And I'm going to balance it out with just a little bit of dry brushing up the top as well. Or as the case may be, a lot far out. And then this is going to get, um, we're going to give him a doodle, doodling. We're going to doodle. We're going to add some doodling. Oh, the 18 year old thinks it's inappropriate that I'm talking no, about doodles. I'm just thinking that Fiona would be so proud of you right now. I oh, know, she would be proud of me. All right. So the other thing I can do here, so that's dry, so I can put my hand on it and I get nothing. Uh, that stencil that I used, I might add some over the top now. Whoops, some over the top now. So I can do a little bit of this. Jessica, it's in the um, in the password book. I hear everything. You guys forget that. You can't talk about me while I'm not in the room because, goodness me, you think they would learn? Having a teenager means that you do hear everything. Right. So you can see what I'm doing. Just adding on a little bit more of that pattern and brushing it over to just bring in a bit of connectivity to it. Okay, so that's exactly who it is, Louise. Since I heard that and you heard that. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, Faye, that's something that I am working on, my love. Okay, that's what I have been doing this afternoon. So um, we are working on creating some new designs at the moment. 
Um, but as you know, all good things take time. And to, at the risk of becoming a cliche, it won't happen overnight, but it will happen. What was that advert, since we do it on adverts today? Pantene. See, and again, Jessica would not have a clue because you're only 18. So this here is, oops, this is just a little doodling over the top of that where I have made that pattern. It's about layers of white. And of course the white looks amazing on the black. Radio. Now, girls, I need you to come up with a fantastic title, okay? I want to I want some come at me with a fantastic title, and I want nothing about doodles, guys. <laughs> Keep it clean. Oh, I've actually got one, but I'll, I'm, oh, I'm, I'm keen to see if someone's come up with something better. As I rub my hand through the paint. Oh, thanks, Leslie. He doesn't know how to say nice things about me. Oh, look at that. And there's a, oh no, he's not our delivery man, is he? No. Not today. Doing the neighbours. No, look, I'm all about keeping it real in here, guys, and you know that. Um, and if anyone's got any uh, time on a Saturday night free and you haven't got somewhere to go to, uh, you'll find me over at Michelle Grant Designs where I am doing, uh, I'm a guest artist over there. So come over and join us over there. That will be fun. Okay, I stand alone. Unleash your imagination. Man in the rainbow suit. I like that. Man in the rainbow suit. Oh, I was gonna say something about something about wear your wear your colours with pride. Cause that's like the pride rainbow. Yeah, I was, I was just thinking about that. It needs to be something like Pride's Pride? Something about Pride. This week's wear it purple week. This Jess has just told me this week is wear it purple week. What what's wear it purple week, babe? It's um, about being inclusive to the LGBTQ plus community and wearing purple. Wear, wear, something. wear something purple tomorrow. Well, you won't catch me wearing anything purple tomorrow. <laughs> that ain't happening. Um, I just want to use my um, stencil as a stamp a bit here. Um, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's all about inclusive. Okay. Hi, Jeanette. Colour my dude. <laughs> Colour my dude. Sorry, I didn't finish that sentence properly. Um, all right. A little bit of... Yeah, see, that's kind of working now. I'm holding that pattern all the way across. Um, Rightio, get some glue. Let's stick him down. And I, oh, for those of you as well who are chasing the puzzle glue, the puzzle glue will be back in stock in a couple of weeks. It is currently being shipped from Poland. Oops. And is on the way. So that will hit the back in stock section of the website soon. Radio, let's whack this baby down. Have I managed to get paint on my top? No, that's okay. Because that wouldn't be ideal. Let's just put that there. All right, title. We need words here. We need to have some sort of awesomeness. I might go with something like
Right, so I've written, wear your colours with pride. Now, it's blending in a little bit. Oh my gosh, Melanie, we said exactly the same thing and I didn't even look at the screen. Well done. Um, <laughs> and everybody's laughing at me. No, seriously, I wrote that and I was not even looking at the screen. The excitement that you just... I know. It was great. Melanie and I are on the same page. Okay, so, well, I hope not for your sake because I can tell you I can be a little weird. Um, so I'm just going to bold this up a little bit. And you can see that I'm resting my hand on some paper towel because just to make sure that I don't smudge anything else through the page. What are you eating? It smells like a mandarin. Mandy? Mm. Mm, good. They're the good Mandy's? Mm -hmm. A little weird is a good thing. A little weird is a good thing. And so necessary in this world. Well, yeah, fair call. What is the pen? The pen is a Pilot Pintor paint pen. These are my go-to white and black pens. And we actually have quite a range of colours. And this week we had a top-up of the gold and the silver um, as well. So I find that it is an awesome pen to Cheryl be working. Cheryl wants to know what Puzzle Glue is. Puzzle Glue is this stuff here. Puzzle Glue is a, is a glue that I bring in from... Um, Poland. Um, I was introduced to it a couple of years ago when the girls from 13 Arts came over and they introduced me to this glue and it's fantastic. It sticks just about everything to anything and um, other than being a little bit oozy, it's pretty damn good. I will use it any day over 450, okay? 450 is the other glue that is, you know, relatively popular. Um, not my favourite. Leslie thinks you're a great teacher. Oh, Leslie's right. Love Leslie. Thank you, Leslie. I just want to give him a little outline. Yvonne just told me on the phone how awesome you are as well. Oh, Yvonne was on the phone? Yeah. Oh, she's a rock star. You guys are fantastic. Thank you. So I'm just giving him a little shadow. So the Pintor paint pens <laughs> come in... Love you. <laughs> um, come in a couple of different sizes. We've got a super, like an extra fine. We have a fine and then this is the medium tip. And to give you a bit of an idea how good they are, this is medium. And I haven't used that today. That's just straight off. And this is the fine. And I don't have an extra fine handy, but naturally an extra fine is going to be extra fine. fine. But it is actually, a, they're, they're fantastic pens. Um, I do find that they work great for using on, um, on black and going over the top of paint. Um, and I find that they've got more pigment in them than, uh, what's the other brand? Posca. Posca. All right, so um, I do, this is my preferred, um, and it's personal preference. I've been doing this for a couple of years, um, but yeah, I do find that this is my preferred um, paint pen. So just a little bit of a highlight around the edge on one side, and that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to do anything else to this page. I think I'm done. Um, so I'll bring it up to camera to show you. So for those of you just tuning in, thank you very much for joining. The steps that I have done to create this, you can go back and watch this live Facebook, of course, and then it will get uploaded to YouTube, um, Natalie May Scrapbooking. I am using the Dilusions Classic Journal, which has a combination of plain pages, uh, black pages, and craft pages they are a fantastic journal they're a really really good size um i have today 
use Distress Oxides in my background. Oops, here we go. Distress Oxides in the background with a blending tool, a blending brush and a stencil. And then I've just gone over the top with, um, so I used it with the Pinwheel Flower from Paper Rose with this stencil to create that pattern. I then wiped some off with a baby wipe through the big squabbles from Dina Wakeley. I did a little stamping as well. Um, we added the white from, uh, it's just some white gesso. And I've just had another idea. There will be a point where I decide I should probably leave this alone, but you know. Um, and now I'm just adding some more stamping over it because, you know, because I can. Um, and then I used the Scrap Effects Chipboard Man. And this is a pack, a uh, corrugated men. You get corrugated in there as well as newsprint, as well as the chipboard. And they're fantastic. So I just coloured him in gesso first, then went over the top with the Distress Oxides and stuck him down. Happy days. So thank you so very much, everyone. I hope you are all safe and well wherever you are in the world. If you are on the east coast of Australia, um, wash your hands, wear a mask, do the things. Uh, and um, I hope that, that you are all going to get back to your, see your loved ones again in person soon. Um, jump online to nataliemay.com.au um, and I hope that you are all doing fantastic. Um, wash your hands, kiss your kids, wear a mask, chat to you soon.